In this video, we're looking at the Dymo Label Writer 450. Now, this is a label writer I've actually had and owned for a couple of years now. So it's not something I've just bought and I don't know anything about. So I've lived with it for quite a while now. Um, if you're one of those kind of people who uh, prints out labels on kind of A4, Avery style um, sheets uh, and is getting a bit bored of doing that, because you might print, say, one or two labels instead of doing a whole sheet at a time. Then this kind of Dymo label writer is for you, really. Um, the reason is because you can print easily print as many labels as you want, one at a time, ten at a time, whatever. Um, and it's really easy to print instead of trying to load these sheets in and trying to remember where you need to place um, your text in Word, say, in order to print in a specific, specific place actually on the sheet. So I was using these um, and, and they were okay, but it was getting a little bit tiresome really. So if you kind of are looking to change, then it's worth looking at this Dymo label writer. Now, when I bought it, it came with three uh, sets of labels and I've used one roll already and I'm on my second roll of different size. So I haven't bought any um, spare ones yet at the moment, but I've found it really useful. And the main reason is because obviously you can print one label at a time uh, on their program, which I will show you. And also there's no ink required. It's thermal printing. So it's only black and white, but I have done some graphics on it for labeling things such as even Christmas presents and uh, bottles of uh, homemade uh, gin and things like that as well as kind of postage labels, small postage labels when I sell something on eBay or have to post a letter off to someone, anything like that really, it's come in really handy um, and I think it has really paid for itself. Now it's really easy to um, set up, there's not much to it, this version's not Wi-Fi or anything like that, basically all it's got underneath here is uh, two ports, a USB and a power. And that's it, really. That's all there is to it. Well, I have mine uh, placed about um, three meters away as the sort of crow flies from my desk as I have it next to my printer. But what I've got it is I've got, actually got a USB uh, five meter extender, which means that you can push the USB um, signal further than the standard kind of maximum of around five meters on USB two. So it's hooked up straight to my PC uh, running the software. Now on the front here, we've got a button and a light. So that lights up whenever the printer is on. It's a blue light and it's a form feed button on the front here as well. This is where your labels will come out. And if we have a look inside, we've got a label release here. And we've got a label guide that you would move if you're making, depending on the size or the width of your label. And then there's a reverse label button here as well. And then we've got the label roll, the label spool, which comes off and you attach to your reel or your spool of labels or your roll of labels, should I say? And then obviously we've got the top cover. So it basically the reel just hooks inside. It's really easy. Then you just feed it upside down into the front here with the feeder. Now there's only one thing that I don't really like about it and that's that um, sometimes if you print one label out and then you go to rip the label off sometimes you'll catch the form feed kind of button on the front here and it'll eject an extra label which is a little bit annoying but you can solve that quite easily by basically touching this uh, lever here and then rolling uh, manually rolling the uh, the label reel back in so you don't uh, waste a label or there is a reverse button here to reverse the um, labels back in but you might need to align them uh, manually in order to get it back to how it was but that's about the only drawback of the whole printer to be honest now when it comes onto the software um, I've been running the software quite a while now and I've been through a couple of different versions of the software. Uh, some of them started to become slow when opening up the program and connecting to the printer, but subsequent editions of the software 
have meant that it's working very quick now. And there's a new version of the software out there. So if you've got this uh, label writer and you're still running the old software version, it, I do recommend opening up the um, or downloading the newest version of it, which I'm going to show you now. So the latest edition of the Dymo uh, software is called Dymo Connect. And this is the uh, software. Now in here you can see I've done a label just with uh, a name on here and a graphic uh, which I grabbed from the internet and so it's just two it's a text box and an image on here and there's lots of things this uh, software can do which I've not really explored but you can create labels different size labels um, you can look at you can add barcodes um, shapes um, text images anything like that and you set your size of your label down here down the bottom here with your multi-purpose labels the one I've got in at the minute is a 57 by 32 millimeter label uh, it tells me if the printer's connected or not and which printer I'm using if I've got more than one I can choose between them and then finally here on the settings if I just wanted to print one label then I just basically click press that and uh, a label will come out easy as that if I go to settings then I can change a bit like a printer settings really I can increase the number of copies coming out uh, if I want uh, mirrored or whatever print different print qualities etc depending on what printer you've got as this software will run on several uh, Dymo printers there's even import of data on here for um, Google contacts and Outlook contacts, or I've not tried that myself. Um, so you can import um, address, people's address details as well. If we go to new, there are some templates already in here for various things such as barcodes, uh, shipping labels, that sort of thing. And from here, you can then also choose um, some fix or search for your type of label um, that you're using uh, on your printer. So the software is pretty good. It starts up really quickly when you first open it up or you could just leave it open in the background. It's not a problem and just keep coming to it whenever you need to. As I say, it's really easy uh, to print. If you're printing sort of one label at a time, so you're copying, you can copy and paste your address from PayPal or out of eBay and just paste it straight into uh, this program and press print and you're done really. So that's the end of the video. Really, it was just to tell you about this Dymo Label Writer 450. I've put links if you want to purchase one in the description below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you soon.